Hello dear students, in my, in my previous video on valuation of bonds, I have explained how to value bonds using present value approach. I have also solved the first three questions of exercise 7.2. Now in this video, we will see how to find the yield to maturity when the, when the market price of the bond or the purchase price of the bond is given and I will continue solving the questions from exercise 7.2 from the CBSE handbook. Now first we will see how to find the approximate yield to maturity when the purchase price of the bond is given. So let us take let there be a bond whose face value is given by F and the number of cash flows or the number of periodic payments is N. ID is the rate of interest per period. Then the periodic dividend payment or the periodic interest payment R. It is given by R is equal to R is equal to the face value of the bond into the nominal interest rate per it is ID which is the rate of interest per period and then let us take let the yield rate or the interest rate per period let it be I. So this is what we have to find the redemption price or the maturity value is given by C and the value of bond or the market price of bond or the purchase price of the bond is given by V. Now this value of V is given, we need to find I. So the approximate yield to maturity I, this is an approximate value, it is given by R plus F minus V by N, the whole thing divided by F plus V by 2. So this is the formula to find the, the yield to maturity when the value of the bond, the fair value of the bond or the market price of the bond is given. Now usually all these values will be given, we will have to find V. Now if V is given, then we can find the yield to maturity I, approximate yield to maturity I using this formula. And now let us continue with the exercise questions. These are the questions from exercise 7.2 of CBC handbook. The fourth question, suppose that a bond has a face value of rupees 1000 and will mature in 10 years. The annual coupon rate is 5%. The bond makes semi-annual coupon payments with a price of rupees 950. What is the bond's yield to maturity? So here it is given the bond has a face value of rupees 1000 and it will mature in 10 years. The annual coupon rate is 5% and the bond makes semi-annual coupon payments. And they have given the price of the bond. The price of the bond is rupees 950. We need to find the bond's yield to maturity. So we just now saw the formula for approximate yield to maturity. So using that formula, we will, we will find the bond's yield to maturity when the purchase price of the bond is given. So let us take, let R be the bonds yield to maturity, then yield to maturity per period. That is I, it will be equal to R by because here it is given the bond makes semi-annual payments. And now let us write what is given. So here this 1000 rupees it is the face value and this is the purchase price of the bond. Given F is equal to rupees 1000 and V is equal to rupees 950. And then the annual coupon rate is given as 5%. But since the bond makes semi-annual coupon payments, that is the bond makes payments for every 6 months, we have ID is equal to 5% divided by 2. So it is 0 0.05 upon 2, which is 0 0.025. And then the bond will mature in 10 years. Now since the payments are made every 6 months, 
so the number of payments will be 2 into 10 n is equal to 2 into 10 which is 20 so from this we can find the the periodic interest payment periodic interest payment r is equal to f into id so it is 1000 into 0 0.025 so this is equal to 25 and now we have the approximate yield to maturity per period we have approximate i is equal to r plus f minus v upon n the whole thing divided by f plus v divided by 2 so we have each of these values when we substitute each of these values we will be able to find the approximate value of i and if we multiply this by 2 we will get the bonds yield to maturity so this is equal to 25 plus r is 25 then f is 1000 v is 950 and n is 20 plus 1000 minus 950 upon 20 the whole thing divided by 1000 plus 950 upon 2 so it is equal to 25 plus 50 upon 20 5 by 2 which is 2.5 the whole thing divided by here 1950 upon 2 it is 975 so this is 27.5 upon 975 so this when we simplify we will get it as 0 0.0282 and now this is compounded every 6 months so we want to know the yield to maturity r therefore r is equal to 2i so it is 2 into 0 0.0282 so it is 0 0.0564 which is 5.64 percent therefore yield to maturity it is equal to 5.64 percent compounded annually so this is yield to maturity so here we can see that the face value and the purchase price of the bond is given and we are asked to find the yield to maturity so this is the formula for approximate yield to maturity per period using this formula we can find yield to maturity now we will see how to find the fair value or purchase price of the bond. I will just give the formula. How we derive the formula I have already explained in my previous video. So if f is the face value of the bond, n is the number of cash flows, id is the rate of interest per period and then the periodic dividend payment or periodic interest payment r is given by f into id and if the yield rate or the interest rate per period is i, if the redemption price is c and if v is the market price or the value of the bond then we can find v as v is equal to r into 1 minus 1 plus i the whole raise to minus n upon i plus c into 1 plus i the whole raise to minus n so usually the value of 1 plus i the whole raise to minus n will be given in the question using that we can find the value of v now let us continue with the exercise question Fifth question, a bond with a face value of rupees 1000 matures in 10 years. The nominal rate of interest on the bond is 11% per annum which is paid annually. What should be the price of the bond so as to yield effective rate of return equal to 8%. So here a bond has a face value of rupees 1000 and it matures in 10 years. The nominal rate of interest on, on the bond is 11% per annum. So this is F this is n since it, the interest is paid annually this is id that is the nominal rate of interest and this is i it is the yield effective rate of return so first let us write what is given given f is equal to rupees thousand n is equal to 10 
id is equal to 11% i is equal to 8% here since nothing is said about redemption redemption price we assume that the bond is redeemed at par so c is equal to f now the periodic interest payment r is given by r is equal to f into id so it is equal to 1000 into 11 percent is 0 0.11 0 0.11 so it is rupees 110 so this is r now let us write the formula we have the purchase price V is equal to R into 1 minus 1 plus I the whole raise to minus N upon I plus here since the bond is redeemed at par we have it is plus F into 1 plus I the whole raise to minus N. So R is 110 into 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0. 0 0.08 the whole raised to whole raised to minus 10 upon 0 0.08 plus 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.08 the whole raised to minus 10. Now usually the value of this exponential expression it will be given in the question. So 1.08 the whole raised to minus 10 is 0 0.4632. So this is equal to here 110 upon 0 0.08 it is 1375 into 1 minus 1.08 the whole raised to minus 10 is 0 0.4632 plus 1000 into 0 0.4632. So this is equal to 1375 into 0 0.5368 plus 463.2. Now this when we simplify we get it as 1201.3. Therefore, the purchase price of the bond, it is rupees 1201.3. Moving on to the next question, what is the value of the bond considering a bond has a coupon rate of 10% charged annually, par value being rupees 1000 and the bond has 5 years to maturity. The yield to maturity is 11%. So here we have to find the value of the bond where the coupon rate is 10% and it is charged annually. The par value is rupees 1000 and the bond has 5 years to maturity and the yield to maturity is 11%. So this is ID, this is N, this is the face value F and the yield to maturity this is I. So first let us write what is given. F is equal to rupees 1000, ID is equal to 10% which is 0.1, N is equal to 5 years and I is equal to 11%, 0.11. So from this we can find the periodic dividend payment or the periodic interest payment R. Periodic interest payment R is given by F into ID. So it is 1000 into 0 0.1 which is rupees 100. Now the purchase price is given by V is equal to R into 
1 minus 1 plus i the whole raised to minus n upon i plus f into here since no information is given at about the redemption price we assume that the bond is redeemed at par that is the bond is redeemed at the same face value so here we use f instead of c f into 1 plus i the whole raised to minus n so when we substitute all these we will get the answer so r is 100 1 minus 1 plus here i is it is the yield to maturity so we have to take 11 percent 1 plus 0 0.11 the whole raised to minus 5 upon 0 0.11 plus 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.11 the whole raised to minus 5 so the value of such exponential expressions it will be given in the question 1.11 the whole raised to minus 5 is Zero point five nine three four. So this is equal to hundred into one minus one point one one the whole raised to minus five. So one minus point five nine three four upon point eleven plus thousand into one point one one the whole raised to minus five is point five nine three four. Now this when we simplify we will get the answer. So it is 100 into 0 0.4066 upon 0 0.11 plus 593.4 or this is equal to 369.64 plus 593.4 this is equal to 963. 0 0.04 or let us keep it as approximately 963. Therefore, purchase price V is equal to rupees 963. Now, here we can see that the purchase price is less than the face value of the bond. So, we have studied that if the purchase price is less than the face value of the bond, then it means the bond is selling at a discount. Now, when a bond will sell at a discount? A bond will sell at a discount when the yield to maturity, if it is more than the coupon rate. So, when the yield to maturity is more than the coupon rate, then the bond will sell at a discount. On the other hand, if we see the previous question, the face value was rupees 1000, whereas the purchase price was 1200. 1.3 it means here the bond is selling at a premium now when a bond will sell at a premium a bond will sell at a premium when when the coupon yield is more than the yield to maturity so when the coupon yield is more than the yield to maturity then the bond will sell at a premium so in general we have when a bond sells at a discount The yield to maturity it will be more than the coupon yield coupon yield or the nominal interest rate when a bond sells at a premium then in this case the coupon yield will be more than the yield to maturity coupon yield or the coupon rate this should be more than yield to maturity when a bond sells at par then the yield to maturity will be equal to the coupon yield so it is better to remember this so that it will be easy when we when we get the purchase price less than the face value or when we get the purchase price more than the face value i hope this video was useful for you thank you for watching